The first crime incident, CTAC have arrested over 180 in major clampdown. And the second crime incident, police arrest man found with gun and ammunition. The third crime incident, man charged over shooting incident. And the fourth one is St. James man charged with attempted murder after two years on the run. Viewers and subscribers, this one is a double pack one. I want to stack up. Gia. Gia. I am the jackal, Jamaican assassin killing all names. You already know what it is, man. For you hear the voice, you already know it's the urban legend himself. Bagatings Media TV, subscribe to it. You and the family, you can vibe to it. Accurate news, ain't no lies to it. You know this the truth, subscribe, stupid. Yeah, man, you know what it is, man. Jamaican assassin killing all names. Representing for the baddest channel on YouTube TV. Baga Tings Media TV, man. The only place you need to be tapped into. Jack who said that. Ladies and gentlemen, we're reading from The Loop. And right now, hear what The Loop has to say. More than 180 persons were arrested and over 200 rounds of ammunition seized as the Jamaica Constabulary Force, JCF, embarked on two days of joint operational activities aimed at the apprehending wanted person across the island. The activities were led by Criminal Investigation Branch, CIB, and the Counter-Terrorism and Organized Crime Branch, CTAC, with support from Specialized Operations and the National Intelligence Bureau, NIB, and took place over the course of October the 15th and 16th. Chan no star, that's why so much boy I come off fire road. Whole heap of success then reap. Whole heap of machine come off fire road. Whole heap of boy get taken off the street, ladies and gentlemen. And a normal something. Me I tell you, you know, you hear the whole details. You see me I say, serious thing. The initiative, which was focused on apprehended wanted persons in the various policing divisions, in the arrest of 184 such persons, including eight who were wanted for murder. Additionally, three firearms and 204 assorted rounds of ammunition were seized, two stolen motor vehicles recovered, and seven motorcycles received during the operation. That is a success, my viewers and my subscriber. That is a success because the man them carry out a real big jagnet. That's a jagnet man hunt for people where them want to take up off a street for a long, long time. And the man them found a lot of them. The man them found woolly pop, tall up, tall up something. Machine rounds, can wanted vehicle, stolen vehicle, all type of something, my viewers and my subscriber. Lord of God, me love this, me love this, me love this. Now, let me continue. The paper goes on to say, Head of the JCF Crime Portfolio, DCP Fitz Bailey, outlined some of the categories of crime that persons were arrested for. In quotation, among the offenses for which persons were charged were three persons for wounding with intent, three persons for housebreaking and larceny, six persons for shooting with intent, four persons for rape, one person aiding and abetting rape, five persons for robbery aggravation, and two persons for illegal possession of firearm. Jano Star, that is a blessing. I love the operation. I mean, nah, like. Now, catch the levels now. Here, what the paper goes on to say. Among the persons arrested during the operation was Andrew Hines, who was previously charged with the murder of a child in 2014. However, he was released from custody on September the 20, 2020, because of the prosecution, witness could not be located. Hines was held on illegal firearm, possession of firearm, and charged accordingly. DC Bailey reiterated the JCS firm commitment to bring to justice those persons who commit crimes in our country. In quotation, we believe that we have a duty to the citizen of the country to ensure that we have an environment that is free from crime and fear of crime. We will continue to work diligently as we partner together and seek the support of the citizen to rid this nation of this epidemic of crime. 
viewers and subscribers you see although the man them are work and the man them so effective then bring it out they point it out he just point it out a matter of fact to show that guess what them can't do the work without the citizens of jamaica the citizens of jamaica are so important you can't solve crime if the people them in jamaica now work with you ladies and gentlemen this goes out to show that people of jamaica have to talk up me are telling you, on a straight up level, you have to report the criminal boy them. Whole heap of success going on right now, just because the people them are work with the police them. Look how much machine taking off the street. Wanted man get arrested again. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, it's gonna work out. It's working fine. Just continue. You know, might see something that go on right now and I believe so the criminal boy them are win. No, sir. The police them are real. Yes no man. I will love what I go on. We just want to continue with the same thing. You see me I say and the people them in the community support them and work with the thing. Now we'll jump to the next incident. Police arrest man found with gun and armor. And we're reading from the observer, I must say. Clarendon, Jamaica, 42-year-old Anthony Lewars was yesterday arrested and charged in connection with the seizure of a firearm in his community of Penance District. Lawman said that about 3.15 p.m., a team of officers was on operation in the area when Lewars was seen holding onto his waist in a manner that arose the cops' suspicion. Ha! Boy, boy, all well, up on him, waist and then was the police that got jarred down on him. What a boy, stupid man. Yo, catch your levels now. Who not subscribe yet? I would advise you to do so right now. I urge you now on a serious level. Touch up the notification bell for further notification posts. Also, touch up the damn like button. That button they must be touch up, you know. Every single button must be touch up right now. Really, really really this thing means so much to bugger things media tv youtube promote the video the channel get bigger when you like up a video so thank you very much please and thanks manners and respect yes man the boy grab on funny thing never knows that the police them are pre you know and here where police them don't know he was accosted and searched and a taurus revolver containing five nine mm rounds of ammunition was taken from his waistband his premises was also searched and two additional 9mm rounds were found in a knapsack. He was subsequently charged for illegal possession of firearm and ammunition. His court date is being finalized. Yeah, man, that we happened to him, man, in two boomy. Came up on the street, you know, and I wall up in waistband and then was a cops to my prey. And man, them go take off something nice off of him and then go and yeah, go search up a place. And this name, good policing, I'm telling you, if you was a subscriber, you see me, I say, just follow me thing, man. Follow everything right now with Bugger Things Media TV. Say, a real police in this. You see? No, my viewers, I'm a subscriber. The third incident, man charged over shooting incident. We're reading from the observer, my viewers. Catch your levels now. Kingston, Jamaica. A Kingston man has been charged with shooting with intent and illegal possession of firearm and ammunition in connection with an incident on Glory Park, Arnett Gardens on Monday, April the 20. Charge is 28-year-old Ricardo Jones. The police said that at about 8 p.m., the complainant was standing at his gate when he saw Jones who allegedly pulled a firearm and started shooting in his direction. Jones was charged following a ruling from the DPP. Right, they saw them charge him. The DPP is a director of public prosecution. I want to tell you that for you to know that. You know the lady already. You see me, I say, boy, I'm glad how they deal with him serious. See the man? I the man gate and a blaze up can't put the man in our viewers and subscribers. And that me I tell you all the boy them are move right and all them now nah, all well, nomads. Nomads they now nah, all well, them not have no behavior. The man they unruly see. I don't know. Catch your levels now. We are jumped to the fourth incident. St. James man charged with attempted murder after two years on the run. Two years on the run and believe say I don't need done this. You know? Well, in think it done, he make a sad mistake. Let me tell you what I go on and know. St. James, Jamaica, after two years on the run, the police have charged 44 year old Bradley Foster with attempted murder in connection with a stabbing incident that occurred in St. James. The police said that about 6 30 p.m. On July the 13th, 2018, Foster allegedly used a knife to stab another man several times to the left side of his body. 
The man was taken to the hospital where he was admitted. Foster fled the community following the incident which took place in Rose Heights in the parish. So him cut and go in and believe say I eat that you know. <laughs> him, yo, let me tell you about them boy them man. Them feel say when them do things people are just forgive them and people just forget it in a work like that you see me i say now the paper goes on to say after intensive investigations he was finally arrested in the parish on sunday october the 18th 2020 and subsequently charged following an interview his court date is being finalized yes man and that fit happen to him man but like when they carry out some i can feel the boy then can run gone and run from the law i don't know so the law will catch up on them you see me i say almost take the man life you know and believe say that you know Chad no star me telling about the little criminal boy the, in a jamaica Viewers and subscribers, this is yet another crime report from the Big Bad channel when you embark at things media TV. Keep supporting, keep liking, keep subscribing. You don't know a thing go already. And look out for more video coming up with more video recently. Up and running. Bang, 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 bang. Media TV, man. Thank you for watching. Make sure you share it. Make sure you subscribe. Press that notification bell to stay updated, man. Jamaican assassin killing all names. Urban legend. Jackal. Out.